So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a YouTube short. Now, we all know that YouTube monetization is changing and now they're actually going to start paying for shorts. So maybe a good idea. In addition to that, this is kind of like a pro tip, but make sure you make videos that you could upload to other platforms as well, such as Facebook, Real, TikTok, Instagram, and things like that. It's actually quite simple. What I do is that I upload it from my phone. And the reason why is that's kind of how you could put music and things like that. And then I usually go back to my computer and I finish putting the descriptions and things like that as well. By the way, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Okay, so here I am in my app. I'm going to come down here and press the plus sign and it's going to say create short from there, but I'm going to put upload video. Now, some of this thing is going to be blurry here for my own protection, but again, you could create a short from the app or you could simply, you know, upload one that you already created. As long as it's less than 60 seconds, I'm going to click here. And now obviously this is the video that I already created this video. I edited this video and did all that. And now from here, I'm going to start doing the process, right? So you can see here, I got the video. I'm going to click next. From here is many different things you could do. You could put music, put some words and things like that. So we're going to do that together. In this video, I'm talking about God. So I'm going to come down here to text and I'm going to put God is in control. Make sure I spelled that the right way. And then I'm going to click done. I could actually grab it, bring it up. I could just, you know, make it a little bit bigger, just like this. And it looks good right there. Now I'm going to go to sound. And here's a bunch of different musics that you have right there. Obviously, you could go ahead and pick whichever you want. I'm going to pick this one right here and it's kind of low. Okay, now we have some sound into this show right there. I'm actually going to bring this a little bit up right there. But what I like to do is that I like to come here to volume. And now I'm going to play with the sounds because obviously the original sound needs to be a little bit louder. So I'm going to come here, bring it down to like 10. So you kind of have that background music. Just click X out and that's it. A couple other things that you have is that you have filters. And I'm just going to put some of these filters here just to show you. But I'm going to click that. You see the changes there. I'm going to click in here. More changes, more changes. Just giving you a couple different looks in here so you can have an idea, right? You see that right there. Let's pretend that I like this one. I'm going to click OK. And you do have a timeline as well, which you can mess with this there where you could put some music in a specific section and all that. So you could kind of could edit this video out a lot, right? So I'm going to click OK. I'm not going to mess with that again, right? I'm going to click Next. And now from here, this is the biggest things that I do, guys. I put the test, you know, the title right here. I'm going to put test. You know, you can put some of the, essentially some of the hashtags in there as well. You can see that I'm putting the hashtag here. The biggest thing is going to be private, right? So obviously if I click here, you could have it on list, there, private or public. I like to put it on private. First of all, I want the video to continue the process. If it has any monetization issues or anything like that, you know, you may have to request a review and things like that. You may want to make sure that that gets dealt with it. But I usually put it on private. So like that, it gives me time for that video to process. Later on, I put it on public, right? And again, made for kids. Obviously, this is not makes for kids, any age restrictions and things like that. You got a couple other settings in here like allow comments you know hold comments for review disable comments and i usually from here what i do is that i click upload now keep in mind this video is uploading as i'm recording this video as well so from here what i like to do is that i like to go to my desktop and i put the description tags and things like that i'm going to show you how i do that okay so here i am in my background of this channel right here this is a video that i just uploaded i'm going to click right here on the pencil and then i'm going to go ahead and put my description and again whatever that video title is whatever i have to deal with it right here it's just easier for me that i deal with that right here right maybe i put a title right there some of the other you know links and things like that that i have in here right and if i click right here visibility right here you know i could click this video if i want to put it on list that members only public i could schedule so that's perfect because it allows you to schedule your videos and kind of have a really good constant and consistent schedule right if you come down here restrictions as you can see this usually takes about 20 minutes it's only about 20 minutes or so it's going to tell me if the video is monetized is not if it's not monetized i will have to request to be monetized right you could put any cards and things like that if you want to obviously my entire description is going to be right here usually i get a playlist right here and i click on whatever playlist in this case this will be shorts because it's the playlist that i have here for shorts and just like any standard videos out there right click more you got a couple other choices right here like if the video contains pay promotion and things like that and then you could put all your tags in there right whatever tasks you want you could put them in there right so again i kind of like to do this in the computer it's just easier for me and then you could click save the save is about here as long as the video is less than 60 seconds it's going to be a short so you don't have to do anything crazy you could just upload it and it's going to be a short and just to show you if i click on this link right here as you can see that's a short right there right again just a pretty simple way to upload a short doesn't take that much hope that helps somebody and i'll see you in the next one